John is pissed. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching Saw X, the 10th movie in the Saw franchise. Now, it just came out to a streaming service today. It is currently midnight, so I'm doing it for you guys as soon as possible. We have made it to the 10th movie in the Saw franchise. I've done every single movie for the channel, and this feels good. This feels nostalgic almost. I did my first Saw video back on February 4th, 2022, a year and nine months ago. I actually started the video with the candle, lighting the candle, so I whipped it out again, just for nostalgic purposes. I also started the video with me pouring a drink, but I, I stopped doing that because YouTube doesn't really like that, so. But trust me, this isn't water. Now, the only thing I know about this movie is that it takes place between the first movie and the second movie. It's a prequel. Before we begin, I have to take an honorary shot of this peanut butter whiskey screwball for nostalgic purposes, of course. It's not bad. That's not bad. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right to this movie. If you'd like to watch the full reaction, that'll be available on Patreon. As well as early access to Spiral in Jigsaw. I'm doing this video now because it's a prequel, so I can so I can actually do this one as soon as possible. But anyways, those will be on Patreon. But anyways, let's get started. Oh yes, John. Dude, I love John so much. I'm so happy. This is a prequel actually, so we can so we can have him back. That was a long one. MRIs take forever. I've had like three in my life. I've had a lot of knee problems. Falling asleep every single time. Stage four pancreatic terminal. Damn. I'm gonna fight this to the end. Good. Dude, it would be the worst to know he gets terminal. Oh, year? Months. At that. I still have a lot of work that needs to be done. <laughs> he does. But John's not giving up. Hey, he lived by the game. He died by the game. The cancer didn't kill him. Hmm, well, this guy's stealing shit. Potential victim. Hmm, would I give him an idea for a trap? Oh. What the f is this? Help this! Yeah, his fingers. I'd like to play a game. <laughs> he's gonna suck his eyes out? Ah! Oh, yeah, he's gonna break all his fingers. Ah! Suck his eyes out! Oh, uh, he was just imagining that. That's what I would do to him. Yeah. Good choice. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> I like the way they shot that scene right there. You look marvelous. I feel great. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you were. Uh... Yeah. Are you good now? He's four pancreatic, but now four months later, complete remission. Let's go. He fought to the end and he won. I read about a doctor, a specialist of sorts, a doctor, uh, Finn Peterson. He offered a treatment, a groundbreaking drug cocktail combined with surgery. This is the guy that John came to the insurance company about and they rejected him. Huh? I is it available here? No. Yeah. No, the treatment's not available in the States. The, uh, the medication isn't approved by the FDA. This link is still good. Good luck, man. Mm. <laughs> that message. I feel like you need to add more details than that, but hey. I mean, yeah, at this point, you're willing to try anything. And it works for Henry, so. Mm. Block caller. This is Cecilia Peterson. Mm. Is this John oh. Kramer? She's personally calling him? All right. You don't have three months, do you? No. Gathered a group of eligible patients to start treatment a week from now. Okay, maybe this isn't the thing from the other movie that he tried to do in the flashback. If he's actually gonna go, it's not the same thing. I think I could make that. Take a look at that. Does the Metropolitan... Okay, well, he actually wants. It's not the same thing. All right, ignore that. You okay? Oh! Get out! What's your name? John Kramer. <laughs> Lie to me again, and I left this chamber in your eye. I'm not lying. My name is John Kramer. Not to worry, Senor Kramer. You're fine. Oh, is this part? No, what the f is going on? This is this is something the company does? Okay. Well. 
All right. He's here. Good luck. What? I am John Kramer. Come. Okay. Damn, they really want to know if you're serious about this or not. Mr. Kramer. Welcome. Yeah, nice to meet you. What the f*** was that about? Reception that I got on the way out here. Mm -hmm. Oh, welcome, Morgan. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. But we've had to beef up the security wherever we go. So, we must keep our location secret from everyone. Even you. Okay. Sure. Okay. Alright, I started looking around to make sure like, everything's like clean, you know? Good luck, John. Shall we begin? F*** it. What do you do? Like, for a living? Yeah. What does he do? He has to have a lot of money for these, to set up these traps. I'm an architect most of my life. I help people overcome inner obstacles. <laughs> Yeah. And make positive changes in their lives. Sure. Life coach, yeah? From a certain point of view. John's methods are a little bit uh, unorthodox. Your sun is rising again, John. Mm hmm. Now, we'll be performing an awake craniotomy. We're... This means that you'll be floating in and out. <laughs> what the f do you mean? Dude, no, no. There's no shot. There's no shot I can do that. A year ago, I got knee surgery on my meniscus, and they were like, yeah, you can be fully awake if you want. And I was just like, no, I'm good. I can't even imagine being awake for f***ing brain surgery. Valentina, would you? I feel like something's just gonna go wrong. This is too perfect. You know, in Saw 3, he was still very, very, very sick in there. So I feel like, I feel like the surgery is not gonna work. After that, what happens then? Your whole life happens then. <laughs> Have a good life, John. A long, good life. Oh, he's crying. He can live the rest of his life. Well, he okay. Like to be honest, he's already pretty old. How old is how old is he supposed to be? Like s late sixties, early seventies. Not sure exactly how old he's supposed to be. Oh my god. But at best, he has another like 15, 20 years left, which is still, I honestly, I think that's worth it. That's that's a very long time still. It's worth it to him because he has a, like a purpose, if you will. His purpose, the purpose in his life drives him every single day. So like. Hello? Hmm. Gabriella. Our place got raided? There's just gonna be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, wasn't it like more like back here? You'd have to, yeah, 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 yeah. There's gonna be no, there's, <laughs> there's nothing. Oh my, it was a f scam. <laughs> yeah, so watch him play every single doctor, surgeon, whatever. Everyone who runs this place in a trap for just scamming people. Hello? Let's jump. Al Infierno. Mm. Ooh. Yep, got your ass. Kramer? Hey, man. I've told you what you wanted to know. I fucking told you who you're looking for. Hello, Diego. Or should I call you Dr. Cortez? Oh, my God. <laughs> Attached to your arms are two explosive devices, but they can slice through flesh and muscle. Uh. You to Dude, John is fucking pissed. <laughs> He's fing pissed off. Mmm. <laughs> uh, oh. But you got your other arm now too. Uh, oh, there oh he did it. Wow. He's gonna survive. Ooh. He did it. You're gonna be okay. Okay, yeah, see, that's what I like about John's traps. It's like, that was a true 50-50 right there. Like, actually, that was probably one of the more fair traps he's ever had. The doctor. Just as certified as Johnny Sins. 250k! We might have room for one more spot. Yeah, wow. Walking off the yeah, that's why, that's why they replied to a shitty-ass message. Like, his message, like, no information out was like, hey, I'm interested. And then they've replied like that. Yeah, that should have been a red flag right there. And then they were like, yeah, you're actually perfect for this. Like, okay. <laughs> I 
Mm. It's Amanda! I was just about to say, it has to be Amanda then. Yeah, that was her who collected everyone. Get some rest. You're going to fucking need it. Uh, what the fuck is going on? Why are we fucking? You fucked up the wrong person. <laughs> you tried to scam the wrong person, buddy. It, it was you? Why? What do you mean, why? You know what you're doing. We're only trying to help you. What the fuck? <laughs> that game is over. Yeah. And the new game's about to begin. <laughs> Did my blood ever make it to the lab? No. I thought you said there was a key. He was speaking metaphorically. <laughs> he does that a lot. Yeah. When I get out of here, you're not. I'm gonna kill both of you, motherfucker. She's dying, hundred percent. She's Valentina is a hundred percent dying. It creates an extraordinarily clean cut to the bone. <sighs> I'll be shocked if she makes it out. You won't. You wouldn't. Bet. <laughs> Bet. But Valentina might. John's like, I have nothing to do with this. I'm not killing her. You promised dying people. Dying people! She could save their lives. Took advantage of the only thing that they still possessed. Hope. Hope. Yep. Did you heal any of those 34 people? Yeah, what about Henry then? Like what, they just make a massive cut on his stomach and then just sew it back up? For your own enrichment. There was no healing going on there, bitch. <laughs> I love Amanda. Activate the saw around your neck. No. Don't hesitate. Because your time is prescribed. This is not right. The lecture in moral decency. Mm-hmm. No. Oh she's dying. Do it, don't think. Just, just, dude, just don't think. Just don't think. Just <sighs> yeah. ah, come on. Oh dude, she's almost through. <laughs> oh. oh my god, there's a like she did it. I'm shocked. <laughs> oh yeah, there's not enough time. I'm not gonna make it. No. She's gonna miss it like two seconds. No! Oh. No! Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't think she'd be able to cut off her own leg. She just took too long to fill up the bone marrow. She missed it by like two seconds. Rules of the game, so. What? Sometimes we get sucked into things that are against our nature. Drugs are as vicious as they are powerful. Amanda was a drug addict. Gabrielle was a drug addict too. And if you can't handle this, how will you handle the rest of our work? Do you want to keep going? Yes. Yeah, Amanda has empathy. Cecilia, Cecilia, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? No, no, wait. Ah. No. We have a rope. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> it's creative. Yes. Ah. Hi, Meg. I'm gonna kidnap my team. We have a visitor. I've come to get my money back, and I'm not going to get it. Yeah, the first guy, John met the guy right before John. <laughs> oh, Valentina's head. They're all con artists. And we, we were the suckers. I gave her everything. All the money I had. But instead you traded it for magic beans. There's a game that she has to play out to its conclusion. We don't kill. You chopped her fucking head off. She did that to herself. Tina died because she didn't have the will to live. <laughs> Failed yeah. her test. I promise you, Amanda, one way or another, it's all gonna work out according to plan. They're gonna show that clip in the twist and just know it. But the anesthesiologist is next. Now get real. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. <laughs> yeah, that's so confusing. <laughs> it's just like, what the f is it? Oh, brain surgery on him, huh? This will save your life. Mm. But no. He's dying. He, this is too complicated. He's 100% dying. What happened? You have to cut it to your scalp. No, no. Yes! No. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. 
Nah, it's not gonna dissolve fast enough. He's dead. Yeah, he's dying. <laughs> a blaster? I have spent years in treatment. Radiation machines are not to be trifled with. Mm. Oh, Broken bones heal. She's gonna break her hand, get her hand out of the handcuff, and then she's gonna take a fucking drop. That Stop with your foot. He'll swing out of the way. Whatever her trap is, she's gonna live. I feel like she has the will to live. Ah! Oh. I don't know about Gabriel though. All right, this trap's not as bad as the last two. You just gotta break your ankle in your hand, really. Oh, it's moving. <laughs> yeah, I mean, then the radiation machine's gonna go up too, but but I'd rather do this trap out of, instead of the last two so far. Drop right to hospital. Okay, playtime's mm -hmm. over. Oh shit. Not a chance. Wait, what? You know, I die for you, baby. Wait, what the f is this? Oh my god. I mean, actually, that makes sense. Like, he's, yeah, he's the one who sees the next person coming in. So, uh, okay, that makes sense. Oh my god. Yeah, and she called him, huh? I should have seen him being in on it, too. Come on, move! Hey, John's not worried at all. He has a backup plan. I already know it. She won her game, and she deserves to live. Oh. Her injuries need medical treatment. <gasps> oh, she's gonna kill Gav. Oh my god. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh. How did I stop you? Am I just that good? No. I just had a lapse in judgment. Do you want to know what I thought when I watched them each die? You didn't give a <laughs> You're gonna have to get the money back from me. And the crazy thing is that you could have just walked away, acknowledged. That you got beat. Got conned. Nah. Hmm. Who's here? Who's here? Oh, it's the kid, Carlos. I want his last memory to be watching someone innocent die. Hmm. If you think I'm innocent. No, it's the yeah. kid. Oh my god. Confronte. Don't pull him. No harla. Yeah. Oh. Parker's not doing it. Nah, he's doing it. Oh. Whose blood is this? Stop! Stop! Okay, he's gonna do something though. But if you were the last player. Who was supposed to be on the other side of that plank with you? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> There's the contingency plan. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's gonna be me. That's why he's the goat. Where's the fucking money? Mmm, bitch. <sighs> John, John, John. This guy's a. Genius. <laughs> it was never loaded. Mmm. Mmm. I took out all the gunpowder. You are a warrior, my boy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not exactly as we planned. Mm-hmm. <laughs> did they know about you? Yeah, because the taxi driver did say, like, I told you everything you wanted to know already. He knew Sears was gonna pull up, so he let them think they won. That's Hoffman. But at every turn you chose death, it's all gonna work out according to plan. Yeah, I told you they're gonna use that. Only one can survive. I feel like Cecilia is gonna win. She has the will to live. Oh yeah. John. <laughs> you thought you got me. Let's get you home, Carl. All right, well, that was Saw X. 
Oh, this is the OG bathroom. Oh my god, he was in on it too. Yep, that explains, okay. Henry. Thank you, detective, for aiding my fellow cancer patients. Ah, Hoffman. Out of all the men to cheat, <laughs> you pick John Kramer. Yeah. I call that epic bad luck. Yeah. I want to play a game. Mm. Ah! All right, that was Saw X. Yeah, I think this is one of the best Saw movies they've ever made, to be honest. This one was perfect. I using it. it was a little side story, a little prequel story. It kind of reminded me of like Rogue One. You, yeah, you don't technically need it, but it was a really good movie, so I'm happy it's there. Okay, that makes sense for Henry in that post credits. He had to be on it too. <laughs> Can't trust anyone. That is so fucked up. But yeah, they scammed over 34 people on this, and they got, it. but they up when they scammed the wrong person they got john craver john was pissed off <laughs> yeah i mean it fits right into his moral code to where yeah you do something up you're gonna pay for it i really liked all the traps this movie i felt like they were all really good the first one where the girl had to cut her leg off take the bone marrow put it on a scale okay yeah, i feel like they're all pretty survivable except maybe the second one like the second one cutting into your own skull I, I don't think that's just as fair as cutting your own leg off like cutting your own leg off that seems like it would be more to ask for i don't know dude i feel like it's worse to cut into your own skull i just think it's different i think it's different because i feel like the top of your head is just more sensitive than cutting Cutting your leg off but regardless they're both pretty brutal and they both died and then gabrielle her trap i feel like her trap was definitely the easiest it was still insanely brutal don't get me wrong really you're hanging from your wrist in your ankle okay you gotta break your ankle and then break your hand while getting burned at the same time like okay that's pretty brutal but i don't think it's as bad as the first two to be honest that one's a pretty fair chance you're gonna survive and then the last trap that one was just john playing chess against them dude ah, master chess player but it's always because he knew about parker he knew about sears the taxi driver told him about him so he anticipated him showing up obviously him coming in john kind of defusing him for a little bit and then him getting the gun on them putting john in the trap you know he he probably thought that amanda was gonna be in that trap with him not the kid carlos that's where he was like it didn't go according to plan i feel like in that moment john actually got nervous there but it worked out in the end when they went back up to the room grabbed the bag of money and they all you knew john had a plan you knew he did 100 he did like i was thinking he'd have a plan just in case things went wrong and they took over but no he anticipated the entire time obviously so didn't have a lapse in judgment well he did technically did because it was carlos and not amanda but he always thinks that head he is dialed in Now, whatever, they just straight up left the house. They left the building, and then, yeah, I guess she's free to go. I feel like Cecilia's not the type of person to appreciate surviving and just be like, okay, I'm gonna come after him, I'm gonna kill him. I feel like, in this case, it went, really wouldn't work on her. And, like, first guy who survived and Cecilia, they both know his face. They know what he looks like. They, they can come after him later on. In the other movies, when other people survived, I mean, they just became his apprentice, so, like, that kind of worked out. I really like Tobin Bell in these roles. He does such a phenomenal job. He's, he's so perfect. John's just a super interesting character. I'm so happy they made John the protagonist of this movie. He got a movie where he's the protagonist. He's the star of the film. And you love to see it because he's such a good actor. Such an interesting character. He has a really strong moral code that he sticks to no matter what. He's also a very sympathetic person to people that deserve it. But then he has absolutely no empathy and no sympathy for people who don't deserve it. Like, the people who just scammed him and scamming other people he has no sympathy for those people whatsoever once they survive he's like yeah you're good i'm gonna get you to the hospital i'm gonna do everything i can to save you now and it's like okay i mean it's always been like that but this movie really expanded on top of that but yeah that was saw x comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching